Welcome to Highline Excel class number six. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download this workbook. If you're enrolled in the class, just go to a week two website. Hey, here are our topics for week two. We're going to start off by talking about worksheet and workbook references. I'm going to click over here on the sheet called Assumption Sheet and there are some commission rates that we need to use in a formula over here on this sheet called worksheet and workbook R for reference. Now, notice I have down I have this workbook open, but I'm going to control tab to go to my other open Excel workbook and I have week 2 business 214 workbook 2 because I want to show you also how to do uh, cell references from one workbook to the other. I'm going to control tab. The other way to move between workbooks is view and then switch windows and the two workbooks that I have open you can then click on whichever one you want. I just want to start off with a simple one. Just um, in this sheet I want to get a number from over here and put it in the cell. I want the commission rate for Sue to be in the cell right here. Alright, so you ready? Um, but before I show you how to do a reference to another sheet, let me show you how to do a reference from this cell to a cell in this sheet. And we're going to count the clicks. Ready? Equals, that's one click. Click on the cell you want, that's two clicks. And hit enter, that's three clicks. Now, when I do a formula that's looking at a cell reference in a cell reference on a different sheet, instead of three clicks, it's going to be four. So let's do it. I want to get Sue's commission rate equals Ah, the extra click is that I got to click on the sheet I want first. So I click on that. Then I see the cell I want right here because I want Sue. Then you could see up in the formula bar, it's got the sheet name. Oh, no way. There it is. It's got an explanation point. That's very important. Sheet references have explanation points. That's Excel saying, hey, I know that's a sheet reference. And then it's got the cell reference. Now, the fourth click is Enter. Now, that's just formatting. I'm going to control 1 and go to my format cells dialog box and convert it back to percent. Boy, that control 1 takes a long time. Percent and then click OK. Now uh, I'm going to do that again. Four clicks equals, click on the sheet, click on Joe's rate and enter. Equals, click on the sheet, click on chin, enter. Now I want to show you something. Whoops, I clicked on the wrong one. Equals, click on the sheet. Uh, click on the rate, enter. Now I want to show you something important here. Scroll over here and I'm going to blow way up. I'm going to hit F2. Notice how the syntax is name a sheet, explanation point, and a cell reference. Watch this. I'm going to hit enter and then change the sheet name. I'm going to double click here and add a space. Ah, sheet references don't like spaces. Will our formulas mess up? I'm going to hit enter. No. But watch what happens. When I go back over to this sheet, Click in the cell and hit F2. Oh, there it is. The complete list of syntax for sheet references are, if there's spaces, then it must have a single dash, single dash, and an explanation point. So that's a sheet reference. Now, um, I'm going to come down here, and I want to show you a workbook reference. Same idea. Whoops, let me see if I can get this to work. Boop. Same idea, except for instead of clicking on a sheet, we're going to have to click on a different workbook. right? So I'm going to Control Tab to go over to my other workbook. And there it is, same little table, but it's in a different workbook. Control Tab. Now, when you're doing workbook reference, you should have these workbooks saved in locations where they're not going to move. Because if you go and move the workbook with the data, or even the workbook with uh, the formula in it. If you move it to some other computer, then there's there's not a connection anymore and they can't update. So you want to make sure that when you're doing workbook references that they're I always save them in the same folder. That's not always possible though. If possible you should do that. Just make sure they don't move. Alright, here it is. I'm going to go get this uh, rate for Sue from another workbook. Equals, and now I need to go to the other workbook. I'm going to use Control Tab. And then um, I need Sue, so I'm going to click right there. Notice up here we can see square brackets. That's the syntax for workbook references because it's got the workbook name in a square bracket. And then it's got the sheet name, explanation point, and ooh, by default it's got uh, $2 sign. That is the default. It's easy to change if you click right here and hit the F4 key. 
you can get rid of the dollar signs. Notice now we're back over here. There's a formula. I'm going to hit Enter. I'm going to try another one, and then we'll talk about the syntax. Equals, and I want to go get Joe's. So I'm going to go up to View, and then switch Windows, click over here, and get Joe's rate. Notice I'm in this workbook. It's the keyboard shortcut to enter that formula is Enter. One more time, and I'm going to count the clicks. Equals, Alt-Tab. That's like a click over to the other workbook. You could also click on the, um, the task bar where the workbook is located. I'm going to click on, oh, no, I forgot who. I think it was Chin. There it is up there, and then hit Enter. So that was, that was the third click on the cell, and then Enter is the fourth click. Now um, I'm going to click in the cell, blow it up, and hit F2 to show you the uh, syntax. All right, square brackets always for the whole workbook name. Um, and, and it can have a, a whole file name before this, too, if it's, it's in other folders. And, and uh, I'm sorry, folder names if it's some, in some other folders. But there it is. That's the workbook name in square brackets. And then, uh, oh, there's no single quotes, but there's an exclamation point. I'm going to hit Enter, Alt-Tab. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to add a space here and see what happens. Enter, uh, Control-Tab. Control-Tab goes between just open ec uh, workbooks, right? I'm open workbooks. If you use Alt Tab, it goes through all, all the different applications. I'm holding Alt, and I'm going to use Tab to go th cycle through all the applications. But when you use Control Tab, it just moves between Excel workbooks. All right, so I'm going to stop here. I'm going to click on this sheet, hit F2, and look at the syntax here. Notice uh, it now has little apostrophes around that whole thing because there's a space there, but the workbook names in square brackets. The uh, the whole thing with sheet name is in single quotes. There's an explanation point, and by default, it's uh, absolute. You can always change it if you want by um, click putting your cursor in the cell and hitting F4. All right, now I want to close this. I'm going to save it. Control S. Continue. This is the compatibility checker. It's just finding some things that are incompatible with earlier versions, but this is all f formatting, so it's okay. I'm going to click Control con Continue. I'm going to close this workbook. Now I'm back to this one. I'm going to change this right here to uh, 0 0.05. Control S, and then close this. Now I'm going to uh, cheat and go up to here. And the recent, this is the orb, the office button, the recent workbooks that are open are listed here. I'm going to go ahead and open this one right here. Now, in 2007, the dialog box to update, because notice it's not updated yet, appears here. In earlier versions, it's a pop-up. But you got to click Options, and I'm going to say Enable this content. Notice, so far, it's still the old version stored in memory. I'm going to click OK, and sure enough, it updates. Now it's warning me this workbook contains one or more links that cannot be updated. So there's some other link that cannot be updated. I'm going to click Continue. That one can. That one is uh, 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 the one that we just cr created. And notice when we hit F2, it's not only got the whole workbook, but it's got the whole file path name there. So that is a workbook reference. All right, when we come back in our next video, we're going to look at VLOOKUP.